Welcome to Chrome Face 52 Transformer Review. And there he is, Decepticon Bombshell. Alright, these guys are finally starting to show up on the pegs. Um, I just saw one here this past weekend. I didn't pick them up because guess what, I already got four of these. So of course the most disappointing right out of the gate here feature is that uh, this has a faux flap. You know, it looks like it's it's pinned through and it looks like it's hinged, but yeah, there's really it really doesn't do. Otherwise, he kind of is very much G1 y. A few slightly different things. And he's got way more articulation, quite a bit of, of an articulation here. I mean, double jointed in the shoulder there. Pin joints, pin joints. Everywhere is a pin joint. So has a slight wrist tilt for transformation, but otherwise, otherwise the wrist wrist does not turn. His leg articulation is is full full hip all the way, ninety degree knee bend. Nothing extraordinary, but you know, full full tilt there. I don't even know what I'm saying here. We have we have an advantage of, of waist mobility due to transformation. So that really get around on himself. The uh whatever you call it, the snout, if you will, is attached to the head. So the head can only turn turn about forty-five degrees each way. And uh, but that's it. He's just kind of stuck there. No head, no held head tilt there. So it's just on a probably just on a mushroom pig there. I think this will. This is not. This is not pinned in. So so you can just pop that off. And if you do that, then you get a full full three sixty turn on the head. Here we have all three Insecticons from the line, complete. Uh, so Bomb Sales always had a special place in my heart because he's, you know, he's the only G1 that I had. Uh, I recently dug out my G1s out of the basement, the depths. And this is what is left of my G1 Bombshell. It's in pretty sad shape. The chrome's pretty much worn off most of of the thighs here. These, uh, the the rub sticker can't rub anymore. It's just a straight Decepticon symbol. Um, all the stickers are worn. Uh, mostly this one's and this one are due to you know transformation. Just literally decades of sliding there. Uh, the symbol on the chest is being held on by a piece of, of mailing tape. I just, and who knows how long ago I actually taped that on. Uh, pretty loose, pretty flappy. As you can see, uh, he's, he's messing his head. Um, <laughs> At some point, a couple of decades ago, uh, probably three decades ago now, I I went Highlander on all my Transformers. So, uh, but more to come on that later. But and uh, this part broke off and then has since disappeared. It might be in the box. It might be in my G1 box somewhere. But I do have. I do have his uh, blaster still, and so as you can see, this this uh, legacy blaster is quite quite lacking. I don't know why they think that they need to make it so much smaller. It's just 
I don't know. Just goes along the lines of all the disappointing trends in this legacy line. You can still hold it, but the the weight the weight alone. <laughs> the weight alone. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, weight alone drops the arm down. But you know. I just I just love how he just folds up and he's just nice and compact. And he just does that. So the instructions actually show that that these are supposed to peg into either side of of his blaster like this. And I'll tell you I, I it's it does not make up for having having such a small blaster compared to his G1 counterpart. So I'm going to keep him in a G1 style and have those nice forearm cannons. And they're just going to stay there like this all the time. Alright, so... How does this guy transform? It's not as simple, but close, simple enough to the G1. So we have that, some extra, extra formation here because the hands actually go in. You can, you can close the head up anytime you want. This, this is there is a peg that this is supposed to go in there. It's a little tight. That's gonna wear. That's going to just be a pain. These are clipped. They just pop and then pop down. Get the leg out. There is a lot of, there is a lot of tabs going on. And I think a lot of that is just because the forearm, the forearms are just recycled. Forearms are recycled, the legs are recycled. The only the only big difference here is is the different torso and head and different 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 shoulders, different uh, shoulder joints, different torso, but the forearms are the same, the waist is the same, the legs are the same. It's just everything's the same. It's just some slight color variation is all. But they're basically the same thing. And that, that to me, that to me is, is the most disappointing aspect of it. Is that Bomb Show's not even his own man anymore. So the arms lock. Flip up the front panel. But instead of, instead of folding around like this. They do do that. But, they don't, they don't actually fold over, they, he rotates, he rotate the hips, rotate the hips, and then, then it folds over. And it doesn't really fold over. They just kind of collapse. The shins just collapse into the quads there. And I'm finding that these really don't... There's a, there's a little bit of a pig. A little bit of a tab here that kind of goes into, into the back of the thigh. But it doesn't really go well. So he just kind of sits here, the legs, and then it just, he kind of just, just doubles over and he just kind of sits there. And that's, that's really all there is to it. And you throw the cannon up on the leg. Okay, and then, 
so at least he's got weapon storage. But he doesn't really just he just doesn't really seem to collapse on himself as well as as G1. It feels like there should be more more to it, but yeah, he just he just kind of sits there with his his legs gaping there. Oh shit! Can we say gaping? Is YouTube gonna demonetize me? Oh wait, I'm not monetized. Ah. Fuck him. Anyway, G1. There's G1 in his in his blaster. And, uh, Trump face out.